First up here at Detroit Performs is New Music Detroit, a contemporary music collective made up of the area's most highly accomplished musicians. In fact, some performed in both orchestra and Carnegie Hall. Here they are, coming to you from MOCAD. It's New Music Detroit. A bunch of us, uh, members of the Detroit Symphony Orchestra and myself, uh, that decided that we were trying to look around the town and it's such a musically rich town in Detroit and there wasn't really a, a, a collective group of people that could, uh, you know, that we were looking for contemporary music in town. There was so much in, in other genres but nothing that sort of pulled it all together. And we also realized that it was really hard to find venues. Uh, you know, plenty of people who were willing to play it and, and wanted to be involved, but, but it's also hard to put everything together. You need to find the venue, you need to do the advertising, you need to do the marketing, you need to make sure all the instruments is set up and ready. And so this group of people, this collective, as we were started, decided, you know, why don't we do that? And then we invite friends and, and people, uh, you know, who want to play this music. Uh, from everywhere. So we've had you know, everything from noise band to you know, contemporary, uptown, downtown, however you want to label it. But it's just this really exciting group of people who, who want to play new music here in Detroit. So we, we thought, you know, should we pick a name that, you know, you know Red Apple or, or something like that. And then we thought, you know what, let's just call ourselves New Music Detroit because that's what we're doing and that's what we like. It's a simple but I think pretty direct name. Um, so uh, we, uh, you know, we think it really reflects what we're all about. You know, we're based in Detroit, this wonderful city, and we like to play music that is uh, current um, in, in terms of composed music, classical music, which you, you know, what have you. All or most of the founding members were affiliated in some way with the Detroit Symphony. So that's sort of how it started. We were all um, just starting off our professional careers and enjoy making music with the DSO, but wanting to do something um, different as well in more in, I should say, less formal spaces and sort of program the music by composers that we wanted to program. When you're in conservatory and certainly when you're really young, learning the, the craft, you know, if you will, um, you're, you're really focusing on a lot of old music because you need to learn the performance practice of your particular instrument, in my case, percussion. Um, and so that's a really deep tradition and a wonderful tradition. Um, but the downside is uh, you can't just call up Beethoven and ask him uh, you know, what he thinks of uh, your interpretation of this or that. It's really, uh, really a, a great thing to be able to collaborate um, with composers, particularly composers that I um, happen to be friends with as well, um, because if you're developing a piece with them, say you're commissioning them, um, you can be involved with the process from the very beginning, you know, before a composer even puts pen to paper. So to be able to sort of have a window into the process and to be able to collaborate um, from the first step all the way through, you know, the performances, conceiving of what tone, what sound, um, the feel, um, all those things, it's just, it's just really, um, it's immeasurable to have the composer's input in all that stuff. And here you have this vibrancy and, and, and to be able to work with them at that moment, ask questions and how to do it. And then also, you know, you have this crowd that comes to these concerts why we do it at MoCAD, it's a great collaboration and, and uh, you know, they, they've been so uh, generous to us over the years. This music sort of, you know, a lot of the music that we program, you know, sort of reflects, uh, you know, the feeling of Detroit. It's, it's, sometimes it's gritty and, uh, you know, sometimes it's beautiful and, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's just, it's just music here played by our group at a great building, at a great time of the year, and we're just happy that all these people are coming out and supporting us. And that shows us, you know, it tells us that this is something that people really want, and, and that's, what, that's the greatest thing of all.
But mainly, we just see people that are passionate about music and are interested in um, seeking out the unfamiliar. I think there's a, there's a real sort of adventurous spirit in this city. Um, and it's certainly, it's certainly a big time music town. I mean, I mean in, in the big leagues, you know, up against any other city you can think of. Um, it's really one of the top um, places in terms of just appreciation, knowledge of, of all kinds of music. So here we are. Uh, this is uh, Strange Beautiful Music 6. Uh, it's the sixth time around. We do it every year. Every year we think we're crazy for pulling it together. And every year we just want to do it again. So it's, it's a crazy feeling, but you know, uh, we love it. It's cool to be able to, to bring this to Detroit because uh, it's really happening here now. To learn more about New Music Detroit, check out our website at DetroitPerforms.org.